take your practice to the next level with our Boho Beautiful official app. Your number one stop for an entire exclusive library of yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and so much more. Download it today in the App Store. Welcome to the Summer Body Warrior Exclusive Series. This part of the series is all about pushing you to that next level. Today we will be focusing on defining that core strength through different plank exercises, strengthening your lower body through centered, focused stability exercises, and of course, giving your entire body that head-to-toe rejuvenation from the inside out. Today's video is sponsored and brought to you by Babbel. I strongly believe that learning a new language expands our capacity to understand and appreciate other cultures, enabling us to truly engage with the world around us. While I already speak English and Russian, when we moved to Costa Rica, it became essential for me to learn Spanish in order to fully immerse myself in our new life here. Babbel is one of the top learning apps in the world, and by incorporating it into my daily routine, my Spanish is getting better day by day. I particularly appreciate Babbel's approach of teaching practical real-life conversations with topics that range from travel, business, to even relationships, which has really helped me in interacting with the locals in my everyday life. And all through 10-minute interactive lessons from real language teachers. I started with everyday phrases such as ¿Dónde está la playa? Where is the beach? You can also choose from lessons, podcasts, games, videos, and live classes with top teachers. Babbel also has a speech recognition feature that has been invaluable in helping me improve my pronunciation and accent. If you're eager to embark on your own cultural exploration, click the link in the video description and enjoy 60% off discount on your subscription with a 20-day money-back guaranteed. With that said, let's shift our focus back to our practice, grab your mat, and let's begin. Welcome. Let us begin today seated along the center of your mat with your feet together and knees together. Simply rest your hands on your knees. And I'd like you to close your eyes for a moment. Let's begin by setting up an intention for this practice. Before we begin to move, breathe, flow, and strengthen the body, let's connect to the reason why we're here today. Connecting to your why. Connecting to this present moment of being here on the mat with yourself, committed to your health and to your well-being. Wonderful. Now, once you're ready, let's go ahead and come on up and walk towards the front of your mat. We're going to begin standing with your feet together. Go ahead and just open the palms of your hands so they're facing towards the front, starting by taking a deep breath in through both of your nostrils and reaching both of your arms up to the sky. And then exhale, bending your knees and guiding yourself all the way down into a forward fold, but with your knees bent. Slowly roll yourself up to standing. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower down. Now we're just gonna start with this gentle warm up to connect the movement of our body to the movement of the breath. So inhale as you reach up. Exhale as you dive down. Inhale as you roll up. Reach up, look up with the arms. Exhale, bend those knees and dive yourself over to the front of your mat. Go ahead and grab your opposite elbows and just begin to rock your body side to side, left and right, beginning to warm up the backs of your legs, letting go of any tension in your neck and your lower back just gently welcoming the body to this practice before we start to build up the heat and power. Go ahead and grab your ankles at this time and just extend through the back. See if you can keep your back straight. And then with your exhalation, begin to lower down into your standing forward fold. Inhale, look up. And then exhale, bend your elbows and release into forward fold. And once again, extend, lengthen, Exhale, bend your elbows and release. Inhale, extend through the elbows. 
exhale, release. Awesome, now from here, go ahead and bend your knees and let's begin to roll up to standing. Once you're up, reach both arms up, inhale. Exhale, dive to your forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, this time step back into a high plank position, shoulders above your wrist. Pull the navel into the spine and then exhale, push back into downward facing dog. Now let's just hold this downward facing dog, feel this opening through the upper body, through the back, through the chest, through the back of your legs. And then come back into plank, bend your knees and step forward to the top of the mat. Slowly roll up to standing. Inhale, we're gonna reach up. Exhale, dive back into forward fold. Halfway lengthen. Exhale, step back into plank position. Inhale. Exhale, you're gonna lift your hips, push back downward facing dog. Hold for one breath, two breaths, three, and then come back into plank, stepping forward with one foot and then the other, coming back to the front of your mat. Slowly roll up. Inhale, go ahead and reach both arms up. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step back into plank. Pull the navel into the spine, control your core. Slowly from here, what you're gonna do is push the hips back and release into your downward facing dog. Holding for one breath. And then as you exhale back into plank, now let's just speed up this tempo. Downward facing dog. Exhale, push into plank. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale, plank. Now start to really feel that movement through the shoulders, beginning to strengthen the upper back. Let's hold your downward facing dog here. You're gonna take your right hand and just tap the outside of your left ankle, back to plank. Come back into downward dog, other hand, left hand to right ankle, and plank. So let's keep it going, just a little tap across, and plank. Tap across, and plank. So really starting to build and work on that control. Every time you come back into high plank position, the shoulders directly over top of your wrist. Really feel that strength in your upper body and your core. Good, keep tapping opposite hand to your opposite ankle, plank position. And back over, now this time let's hold on to that ankle with your right hand and hold this position. See if you can slightly twist, maybe look up towards the sky, towards your armpit, or close your eyes if that feels better. Awesome. Just feeling this beautiful stretch through the backs of your legs. Deepening your breath, coming back into plank. And then all you're gonna do is just switch to the other side. So lift your hips up. Left hand now reaches towards the right ankle or the other side if you did the side already. And hold, look up. Breathe in. Exhale out. Beautiful, one more deep breath in. And then back into high plank position. And let's continue with our plank series here. Now I want you to bend your knees, sit back, extend it to plank. Opposite knee to elbow, plank, knee to elbow, plank, push back. That's one. So we go plank, knee to elbow, knee to elbow, sit back with your hips. Plank again, knee to elbow, knee to elbow, sit back, plank, cross, cross, and back, back to plank, cross, cross, and back. Awesome. Cross, cross, and back. Plank position, twist, twist, and back. Plank, twist, twist, and back. Now come over into plank position, hold, and let's just do knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Just alternate, three, four, Five, you got it. Six, really getting into that corset of our core. Seven, eight, nine, ten, you got it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, keep going, and chaturanga. 
Inhale, upward facing dog. And as you exhale, press into the hands and push back into downward facing dog. Awesome, you guys. Take a deep breath into your body. And then as you exhale, drop it down to your elbows. Bring your feet together. Let's come into a dolphin. Now, as you remember, our previous class, we held the dolphin. This class, we're going to add the plank to it. So we go dolphin and lower plank for two. Elbow plank, three. And four. You got it. Just keep it moving. Five shoulders right over top of your elbows. And seven. Lift the hips. Eight. Lift the hips. Nine. 10, hold that elbow plank. That's it, just holding. Now really think about pulling that belly button right up towards that lower back. Engage through your entire core. Hold, be strong, be focused. Stay with your breath, you got this. Don't drop it down, find that strength. Find that power, that fire within you. And drop it down, awesome. All right, stay on your elbows. Go ahead and just come down with your forehead to the mat and reach your arms towards the back of your mat. Starting with our legs, just lift your right leg off the mat. Hold it there, engaging through the glute. Drop it down and then switch. Other leg. And drop it down. Now both legs at the same time, both arms come off the ground. Holding your full locust posture. Lift up, lift up, lift up. Hold, 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 hold. Beautiful. And one more breath in. Don't give up. Keep lifting. Now really engage through that lower back. Lift even higher. Even higher than you thought you could. Now reach those arms to the front of your mat. Pull Superman. Go even higher and drop it down. Awesome, you guys. From here, go ahead and bring yourself up into upward facing dog. And exhale, push back into downward facing dog. Release the feet. Just breathe for a moment. Lift the heels, bend your knees, and then hop to the front of your mat. Inhale halfway. Exhale, hop back into plank. Bend your knees, hop forward. Inhale halfway. Exhale, back to plank. So just hopping forward. Come on up halfway. Hop back to plank. Now before you hop forward, you can just bring your hips back to give you a little bit of momentum back to plank and then from here chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale push back and release into downward facing dog well done inhale lift the heels bend your knees hop to the front halfway exhale fold inhale stand up tall reaching both of your arms up to the sky and then exhale hands at your heart holding the center Bend your knees, reach the arms forward into your full chair. Holding this chair, pull that navel into the spine. Keep reaching up with the arms. See if you can go a little bit lower and then bring your left knee towards your chest. Extend the left leg back as you reach the arms forward into warrior three. Come back to center, knee to chest, and then plant your feet together and land into chair. So again, left knee to chest, push and extend into warrior three back with that knee to belly button and sit down to chair let's keep it going this is where we start to build that control and that strength so don't rush through the movement remember it's totally fine if you fall over that's the whole point of this exercise is to challenge your body to engage every muscle in your lower body and your core to find that stability and strength bring it up Extend into warrior three. Good. Now hold your warrior three. You can keep your arms extended, or if that's too challenging, you can bring the hands onto the mat if you need to, or at your side. Wherever you are, just find that balance. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Come back up. Knee to belly button. Extend your leg, push, 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 push. Hold with that leg extended. Keep reaching with your arms up to the sky. Don't worry about how high the leg goes, just keep it off the mat. And step right back into warrior two. Well done, you guys. Your legs are probably on fire. 
I want you to stay with me. We got a little more to go. Pull the navel into the spine, nice straight line in your warrior two. Hands behind your head, drop to the front of your mat and up. So elbow to the front knee and up for two. Elbow to knee and three. So really starting to focus on those obliques here. Four, that transverse abdominus muscle. Six and up. Seven, get as low as you can. Eight, breathe. Nine, ten. Awesome. Extend your arms. Warrior two. Let's hold that beautiful warrior. You got this. Get even deeper. Really challenge that lower body. It's time to build that new defined strength. One more breath in. Go deeper. Get stronger. You got this. Exhale now. I want you to extend the front knee. Bend the back knee. Come into Skandasana. Now you can either come up halfway or flexibility allows all the way down. And then extend back into warrior two. We're going to do that a few times. Extend the front knee. Bend the back knee. And back into warrior two. So place your hands onto the mat so you have something to hold on to. And push out warrior two. Skandasana. Back. And warrior two. One more. Skandasana. Warrior two. And sit back over. Now either hold it here or get even deeper. And if you like to take it one step further, extend that right arm up to the sky. So the same leg that's extended, that same arm reaches up to the sky. Opening through that chest and center. This is a moment where you can catch your breath, gather your strength, your focus, your intention. Enjoy the stretch. Enjoy the stillness for a moment before we continue by building that fire and strength. Beautiful. Another deep breath into the lungs, into the heart. Exhale. Slowly transition back into warrior two. Arms at your side. And then you're going to shift all of your weight towards that front foot. And then come into half moon position. So shift your weight forward. Opening, stacking your hips. Bottom fingers on the mat, top fingers reaching up to the sky. Back leg is flexed. You can keep your gaze down. Or if you're advanced and you want to go that extra little bit, come up to the tips of your fingers and maybe even look up to the sky. Beautiful. Now we're going to slowly square the shoulders, square the hips off. See if you can keep your arms at your side. If not, they can stay on the mat and begin to pulse back leg. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep it going just a few more times. Really find that center and coming up to standing. Beautiful. Standing at the front of your mat. Let's dive it down into forward fold. Take a flow. Inhale. Exhale. Step back into plank. Take your chaturanga to the mat. Inhale. Upward facing dog. And exhale, push back and release into downward facing dog. Breathe it out. Inhale deeply. As you exhale, let's come back down to our high plank position. Right knee, right elbow, and then other side. So elbow to knee. And knee. Knee to elbow. Knee to elbow. You got it. Try to get that actual contact if you can. Otherwise, do your best. Just get that knee to the side of your body, working those obliques once again. Good. Touch. Plank, touch, plank, touch, 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 and touch, touch. You got it, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Inhale deeply, find that focus, that center, that intention. Exhale out. Come back over to your elbows. Let's take another round of our dolphin planks. Ready, inhale. Exhale, drop to elbow plank for one. Lift up, exhale, two. Reach, and three, work with the breath. Exhale, four, breathe out of your mouth. Five, inhale, six, you got this, you're strong. Seven, you're powerful. You are ready to take your strength to that next level. You got this. Hold that elbow plank. Hold. Hold the navel into the spine now. Don't move. Find your center. Breathe. 
almost done, I promise you. Stay five, four, three, two, one and drop it down beautiful work all right just stretch it out drop your head arms extend to the front go ahead and grab the back of your ankles with your hands maybe you want to start with one foot or both depending on how you feel and then once you're ready go ahead and lift up into our bow position flex your feet and see how high you can lift yourself if you are using one foot go ahead and switch feet now otherwise stay lift even higher and drop that forehead down to the mat release the feet or foot go ahead and come back over towards your heels with your hips and then extend back into downward facing dog good stretch it out breathe it out inhale lift the heels bend your knees hop to the front of your mat halfway fold slowly come up to standing reaching both of your arms up to the sky and then exhale we're going to come right over to that chair position again and take that sequence that we did before on the other side so right knee to your belly button extend to warrior three back to that knee to belly button sit back to chair that's it so come back up knee high extend into warrior three back with that knee to belly button and sit down to chair and again nice and controlled when you extend into warrior three feel free to keep your arms reaching forward or at your heart if need be come on up push and extend back to that center line and sit back to chair come back up extend into your warrior three now let's find that center and hold maybe your arms are reaching forward maybe they're at your side maybe they're even on the floor that's totally fine just do your best to find that spot that feels right for you and hold it build that strength build your focus your concentration come back to center knee to your belly button extend that leg and just hold it for me hold it hold it don't drop it it doesn't matter how low it is just hold it off the mat do your best to lift up lift up lift up and step right to the back of your mat reaching the arms and releasing into our warrior two all right my friends take a second readjust make sure your alignment is exactly where it's supposed to be double check that you can see your front big toe and that your knees not covering it or rolling forward let's get even deeper into this warrior two we're going to go into the obliques now so go ahead and bend your elbows hands behind your head drop it down to the front and back elbow to knee and center elbow to knee center good really find that focus and connection to the breath inhale lower exhale up lower exhale up really feel the strengthening through the side body up and up you got it reach get even deeper into that warrior two and then back into skandasana warrior two hands to the front of your mat bend that back knee don't worry about going too low with your hips when you come down just go as far as you're comfortable so that you can spring back up to warrior two good push into warrior two and skandasana warrior two and flex that front foot get low and this is where you can see how far you'd like to go now maybe you're extending that left arm up to the sky your left foot is flexed maybe both hands are staying on the mat wherever you are is exactly where you're supposed to be just breathe that's all i want you to focus now finding that stillness slowly slowing down the heart rate just a little bit connecting deeper to our breath to our body to that stillness inside of us beautiful my friends now slowly from here let's transition back into warrior two and then circle forward opening into our half moon stack your shoulders stack your hips maybe come up to the tips of your fingers maybe your whole palm of your hand is grounded back foot is flexed 
Hold just for another breath here. And then what we're going to do is square the shoulders and square the hips out at the same time by pivoting yourself. Hold and then start to pump that back leg. Three, four, five, six, seven. Keep it going. Just find that control, pumping, moving the leg from the glute and back to center. Awesome. Reach both arms up to the sky. And exhale, bring your hands into Samasthiti. Just recenter your body. And let's reach both arms up again. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step back into high plank position. Take your Chaturanga. Upward facing dog as you inhale and open. Exhale, push back and release into downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, lift the heels, bend your knees, hop, and then land to a seated position on your mat coming into our Navasana boat position and then if it's within your practice see if you can extend your legs into a full boat if not you can keep your knees bent as well arms are extended let's hold engaging through those lower abdominals engaging through the quadriceps hold breathe inhale Exhale, go ahead and bring yourself down with your spine, knees towards your chest. Give yourself a big hug here. Before we close up our practice, we're going to first engage every muscle in your body. You're going to tighten and squeeze, and then you're going to relax into a Shavasana. So once you're ready, go ahead and take a deep breath. Make fists with your hands. Squeeze, 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 and open and relax. Awesome job. Take a big exhale out. Close your eyes. Open the palms of your hands. Relax your body. You did it. You pushed yourself to your limit today. I hope you're proud of yourself because I am proud of you. Now this is a moment for you to gift your body with a complete relaxation, complete stillness, and rejuvenation of all of the work that you've done. Breathing softly and gently as you begin to slowly let go of your entire body into the mat. Breathing in and letting go. Breathing in. And let it go. Allow yourself to melt away. Melting any tension out of your body. Feeling every muscle in your body awakened, rejuvenated, strengthened. taking this moment right now to thank yourself. Thank yourself for finding this time in your day, for challenging yourself to a new level, for pushing yourself to become better than you were yesterday. and just take one more deep breath in and as you softly exhale gently whisper to yourself thank you Now let's take one more deep breath in, filling your entire body with oxygen, with fresh blood flow. 
And then begin to slowly move your fingers, your toes, reaching your arms over your head, giving yourself one big stretch, and then rolling over to the side and coming to your seated position along the center of your mat. Be crossed in front of you. Close your eyes just for a moment. Let's go ahead and reach both of our arms to the sky as you take a deep breath. Exhale, hands to heart. And again, big breath in, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. And one last time, arms up. And exhale, bring your hands over to your third eye. And then towards your lips. And then towards your heart. Thank you so much for joining me today in beautiful Costa Rica. Thank you for your hard work and for your energy. Well done on completing class three, and I shall see you in our next practice. Thank you. Namaste. first recognition of trauma that happened after the First World War were called shell-shocked. That right. was the first label that was given to trauma, right? And then over time, it became clear that talking about things, you go over the experience again and you get re-traumatized. You have to relive it over and over right. again, which is, um, which is so difficult. With. So how do we need to deal with it? Peter Levine, uh, who's the founder of the Somatic Experiencing Method, it's often called SE, mm -hmm. and he, by studying nature and what wild animal in nature do when something terrible has happened, realized that we as human beings were not able to shake a very difficult experience just off mm -hmm. like the gazelle does after the cheetah really didn't get her. Right. So he started then to look at trauma, not from the psychological lens, and also not from, oh my God, this is so terrible what has happened to you, but to say, hang on a minute, it's actually not the event, but it is what our brain and body were not able to process in the moment <laughs> what happened. Mm. So then he started to look at you know, okay, how can we help the body? How can we help the brain to safely unwind what is stuck there? Right. So, and this is where, you know, a somatic, soma is Greek for body, right? Mm -hmm. A somatic approach to work through trauma is really important. And what's the process, actually? You create a sense of safety for the traumatized brain and body, whether it's first uh, through healing imagery or being, you know, the ther therapeutic and empathic presence of another nervous system, being sort of a safe anchor. Mm -hmm. And then once there is sort of like, um, let's say a platform, whether it's a safe landing figure of the therapist or a platform where, oh, this is how safety feels, then you sort of walk slowly into the, let's say, the traumatized knots mm -hmm. and, and just sort of dip a little bit your, your, your little toe in there. And then, you, you know, you feel an activation, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And then you immediately titrate back to, to the safe ground. Right. So, and then you, you sort of, you go back and forth. And this is not just in one session, but maybe over many sessions, you know, so that slowly, slowly the brain and the body recognize, oh, okay, this is how it is to feel safe. Oh, okay, and then this is how we can slowly unwind and let go. 